Hi, hi, and hello. Welcome to Jihee's channel. I'm a, I'm a junior at UC Berkeley, and these past two years, I have witnessed God do wonders um, during my time here, and so I finally decided to create a video that would showcase what the Christian community is like at UC Berkeley. Um, I know for me personally, there are many questions I had coming in. Is Berkeley dead? Um, what is the Christian community like? Are there even Christians? Is it scary? Ah! Um, I'm creating this video for future incoming freshmen and also for other students on different college campuses as an encouragement of the testimony that God um, has given me during my time at UC Berkeley. Out of my many experiences seeing God working in Berkeley, I will be sharing three ways, interfellowship prayer meetings, homeless ministry, and the ASCC. Interfellowship prayer meetings. So normally Christian organizations on campus are very uh, separate and unengaging, but my sophomore year I witnessed how God used Berkeley and Berkeley Unity in Christ to call together different Christian ministries and student organizations to come together to pray for the city of Berkeley. The first prayer meeting only had around 10 people, but by the end of the or closer to second semester there were around 120 people that came to the prayer meeting. And these prayer meetings were weekly, Saturdays, one and a half hours, meeting in barrows, and it was a really cool way to see the Christian body come together and crying their heart out to pray for our campus. A second way is through homeless ministries. So Imago Day, Laundry Love, and Hands and Fee are a few among several homeless outreach student organizations on campus. Um, they would do laundry, give care packages, and provide health supplies to the homeless and pray over them. And many friends have shared that they evangelize and develop strong friendships with these homeless people. Now the ASUC, or the student government. The ASUC has 20 senators that represent the student body, and sometimes we're lucky enough to have a Christian senator be one of the 20. And um, there have been a few Christian senators at Berkeley, beginning with Wesley Wan, Jenica Bautista, Isabella Chow, and then last in this year being Rebecca Sue. The, Ber the UC Berkeley ASUC sets a precedent for the rest of the UC schools and is powerful in initiating policies adopted by the rest of the UC system across California. An example is Resolution 69, which made non-surgical medical abortions available on campus. And it was first proposed by a UC Berkeley student and passed on our campus, which set a precedent for other UCs to also adopt our policy. And it was a very radical um, change. One night, my sophomore spring semester, there was um, voting on a bill that proposed the termination of UC of the UC's partnership with Dignity Health because Dignity Health did not support making it accessible to um, for students to access abortion pills um, more prevalently. And we knew the vote would be 19 to one and that this would pass, but the Christian community still wanted to testify and represent God's voice in love. So we gathered at a church to pray an hour before the meeting with the senators and there were over a hundred of us. And we walked from the church to Telegraph Street onto the ASUC Senate chambers on the fifth floor, and we silently filled the seats in the back of the ongoing meeting. And this was on February 12th, 2020. I remember seeing the ASUC senators and executives surprised and widened their eyes at our unexpected arrival when we entered. And there were around 60 of us that went up and shared why we supported Rebecca Sue's decision um, and why we wanted to like support the pro-life stance in grace and love and when we went up to speak we did not applaud for one another nor boo the other side nor smile we were silent when we sat down after speaking the jericho walls fell when god sent his army to march around the city for seven days as stated in joshua 6. and i along with the many others in that room that night witnessed god's power with us and his love was shown in our words but more powerfully in our actions that would not have been possible in grace if it was not for his Holy Spirit that was present with us. That wraps up my story of what I wanted to share. Um, there are definitely so many numerous blessings that I've received 
Um, but I hope that these few stories, though short, would be insightful in testifying how God has been moving during my time here at Berkeley. And down below, you can see links if you are planning to come to Berkeley. There are a couple organizations I have listed there. Also, write my stories and the different experiences that um, God has convicted me to share. So you can also check that out below. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching, and I hope it was a good time. <laughs>